Hi everyone, it's Cherie from Paper Pieces and Leftovers, and I figured the first video that we would do together is a base. And I found a hard one because this is the one I was working on. So anytime you don't have a base, you want to import your file, size it to your preferred size, duplicate it, and hide your duplicated piece. That way you don't accidentally edit it while you're playing around with the one that we're going to actually make as a base. Here, I haven't hit it yet. It was just me trying to get what I needed to delete out of the way and looking at the picture for reference so I could figure out which pieces I had to turn just for the color scheme. I do leave the completed piece up on my computer screen. It just ends up behind the Cricut tab, so I have to pull it back forward to look at it. So you'll see me pop it back and forth throughout the video a couple times. My brain was all over, especially getting the news I got, you know, being a paid YouTube partner. That's huge. And thank you to all of you guys. Thank you to my new followers. Thank you to my day one followers. It has been a long road, but we got there. What you see me deleting is everything that is not base related. We only want to keep the pieces that actually go to the base. So use the picture for reference. And I should have hid the piece on the left completely because I really don't need to look at it. So hide it. That way then you guys don't have to worry about it. Now, so when you're trying to align pieces up in the top bar towards the left half, you're gonna have that option next to arrange and flip. What you'll do is you will make a click box. So you'll click in the top left hand corner and start the box and drag it down to the bottom right corner and everything you want to align, you will include in that box. You will click the align and center horizontally is generally the one I always use. If you click center, it's going to smash all of those and layer them on top of each other and put them dead smack in the middle of your pole. You don't want them there. You want them where the pole is in the middle of each layer of it. And yes, I keep, I'm going to keep clicking just to make sure that I had them in the right order because I don't want to end up putting the pieces in the wrong place. As you saw, here's the box that I'm referring to. Now, what you're going to do is go down to the bottom right and you're going to want to choose the combine and then the weld after you have it all boxed. What this does is it makes it so it is one flat base and you're not going to have even uneven pieces cutting out where it would then cut the little signs off and you would have part of your bar assigned, part of your bar assigned. So make sure you get familiar with the combine button, also the attach. I use the attach for my letters if I have multiple words. Same thing, you're going to create the box and then click attach. That way, one, you don't have to move all your letters on the mat one by one. It'll move them by chunks and also keep them together. Save your project as you go. You're going to save as, name it, and as you make changes, just continuously save it because you don't want to do all this hard work and then lose your progress. So with this carnival sign that I got from Cuddly Cute Designs, what happened was all of those letters, they were so small with the text option she used. It didn't work for me at all. They, I tried the print and cut where I had the pen do all of the letters and then cut out just the background, the offset of it. That didn't work either. So I ended up creating my own letters of the same words. And this is at the carnival. That's the name of the file from Cuddly Cute. But I ended up going in and just um, picking the best font that worked for me. And there's going to be tons and tons of fonts. Now, if you pay the $10 a month for the all access, you'll have access to all of them. Or you can do pay by file. I ended up going with B as in boy, F as in Frank, C as in Charlie, and then Christmas blanket. And I am changing the colors to all of the files. Well, all of the words to match the actual original. It's not yellow. It's actually green. And I'll go back and change that again later. And I'm laying it on the base to make sure that it's going to fit when I cut it out. So I don't end up with letters 
bigger than the actual signs that are on the pole. You don't have to do this, this is extra. You could use the pen option and just take away the offset where it's just gonna draw your letters onto each sign. What you'll do is you'll take your red, yellow, both greens and your blue sign Center your words horizontally. You can actually center them if you if you have your letters attached. So if you highlight them all, group them, and attach them, you can then safely click the uh, center button and it won't overlap your letters where one letter's in the center and then all of them are on top of it. I've done it. That's why I'm just trying to help y'all, guide you through this. Um, so if you group them and attach them, you can safely then actually center them. But you're going to want to put the, the arrow on there and just make sure that it didn't move it too far where your letters are going to overlap the, the white arrow that's supposed to go on the sign. Unless you omit the arrow and just leave it off. I am probably going to leave the stars off because I wanted the words a little bit bigger in a font than what she did with the original file. And this is the nice thing about Cricut Design Space. Before, we used to not be able to do offset and change the fonts of files and do all the stuff we can do now in Cricut Design Space. There are a lot of videos out there for you guys to watch. I don't do a lot of um, Cricut Design Space videos because there are so many out there. We all do it our different ways. 500 of us are going to do it 500 different ways. It doesn't matter who you watch, how many times you watch. You're going to do it differently every time. And then we forget, but then we find another way to do it, if that makes sense. So what I did here is I offset all of my letters, my words. So in that top header bar, you have the offset option. Play with that. You can curve. You can make rounded offset or square offset. It is going to be what kind of offset you're looking for. And one day, just start putting different things into Cricut and start playing with all the buttons. You can warp images. You can flip them. There are a bunch of different options for your lettering as far as line space, letter space, font size, style. It's never ending and they're constantly changing stuff in Cricut. So don't get too comfortable because you're going to go back in there and it's not going to work like it did. I've messaged Cricut and I was nice about it. And I'm just like, you guys keep making changes. But those of us who use this for a business, it makes it harder to have to keep figuring out why we're making changes to things that actually ran smoothly. They didn't even know that when they updated the one, we had to move letters piece by piece. What happened to being able to select them all and move them at one time? They took that away and they didn't even realize it was missing. And the lady's like, well, send me a video. So I did. And then the next update, they fixed it. They will work with us. So if you have an issue that you're noticing, reach out to Cricut because they are really good about helping us, especially those of us who use this for personal use, but business use, teaching purposes, because it does make it harder to teach when we go through and do this process for you guys. And then it's changed and the process isn't there for you guys to be able to find it. I didn't speed this video up because I wanted to make sure I covered everything. And the base matches the actual piece. I That's why I had overlapped it and laid it over it when um, I moved it and then I hit it. I should have hit it in the beginning of the video, like I said. I am going to do another video, though, with a base and a Franklin so you guys can see it. I just have to do the voiceover later, but I wanted to give one that had zero base and you are blind with knowing or not knowing either way how to create it. I'm definitely going to start doing more lives. You guys will have one-on-one. -on -one. And I saw the membership options. They are monthly memberships. You guys get perks with each tier. I don't know how any of this works. We're going to do this all on a wing and a prayer. You know, that's how I've lived most of my life anyways. I have been a wreck. My husband's new job. I am... I just pray that he's okay on the road. Uh, I, I, Him driving a big truck and 
it's like I told him, it's not even him driving the truck. It's other people as well. Because you get on TikTok and you see, you know, 50 car pileups. And the one that we saw, it had at least 20 semis. And I mean, it's like that lump in the throat that you can't swallow. But just pray for my husband that he's safe. Because, yeah, I've spent days crying. Plus my separation anxiety. I just, my husband and I, that is my best friend. I can come to him with anything and everything. He doesn't judge me. He loves me unconditionally. He has loved me at my weakest and at my worst in sickness. And he takes our marriage vows very, very seriously. He reads his Bible every night and every morning. I read mine at night, but he reads his two times and I just read mine once. And on his downtime, he does like to go to church and do church functions. We do a lot of that stuff, but I think that's also kind of why we're so giving and helpful is we just try to lead our lives the right way and the respectful way. What you do unto others, you want done unto you, but you give and you don't expect to receive, if that makes sense. So I did change the base to white because the blue was making me bonkers. And now I unhid that piece and I ungrouped it. The reason why is now we're going to go in and I am going to show you guys up here in this top column. You can bring the pieces that are hidden forward so you can see them. And we're going to go back to that align the center horizontally because I got it where I wanted. I just wanted it evened out. I went down to the bottom right and attached it. But now up in that bar on the top left, we're going to change it in operation from basic cut to pen. And you can change the color. Just make sure you load your pen in your Cricut. I've done that more times than not where I get excited. I've cut out, you know, 100 pieces to one file and none of the lettering's on there because I had a brain fart. So that carnival was big enough, but I didn't want the font to be different from all of my other words. I wanted to keep it all the same so it flows evenly. Because if you have one font that's different than the rest, it's going to be a focal point. There's no way to avoid it. I would judge myself and I'm going to judge you. <laughs> I'm sorry because <laughs> I'm going to be judged by other people if I have some weird font, unless they're all different. But if you just have one that it's an oddball, that's going to be something that everybody notices. But no, I don't judge you. You're fine. Um, I can't wait to do more lives with you guys because it does allow you to interact and ask questions in real time, but also participate because sometimes other people ask questions and it answer ones that either you forgot about or that you didn't think to ask. And it's more engaging because I don't like sitting here doing this by myself talking to my phone. It's actually really boring and it just is not my go-to preference. I want to be there with everybody. I want to talk, chat, laugh, and live. So I got everything where I wanted it. The pen is attached, so when it cuts out my yellow piece, it is going to draw it. And the word at the, and I'm going to glue the carnival on. The one thing I did forget to do is to add the offset to the word carnival. I sat down and inked it all and took care of all of my lettering, glued it down to all the offset pieces, got to the word carnival and realized I didn't have it. So I had to go back and do that. Here I'm just once again making sure that it is the same size. I'm playing with everything, lining it up, making sure I don't see any of the white when I put the pieces where they go on the actual SVG itself. This is a lot of steps. It's a lot of work. This is a huge piece. But when I tell you guys that I create bases for the pieces, this is part of why a lot of the girls don't do it. It is very time consuming. And this video was to show you how much work goes into creating bases. There is an easier way. I accidentally came across it. But this is the way that we've had to do it forever and ever and ever. And so when the girls charge a little more, and I'm not just saying myself, I'm talking all of the other paper piecers that have their pieces up on eBay, Etsy, Facebook, Marketplace, Facebook with PayPal Direct, whatever. Don't 
always question the cost, why some is more than the other. Because if they had to spend the 20 minutes I did making a base to give support to the piece, it's actually very worth it for both of us, for you and us. It pays us for our time, our frustration, our dedication, our care. Because the post office, sorry, USPS, you guys really don't work that great. I've had packages and mail customer orders lost. They've been delayed. One took six weeks to get a couple states away. And we had already filed the paperwork that it was lost. And then six weeks later, after she had been reimbursed and I had already recreated it and remailed it out, it showed up at her doorstop. And we just both kind of chuckled because six weeks was a long time. I could understand a couple days. I just had that the other day. Um, one of the girls said in her informed delivery that it showed that it was delivered, but she didn't get it. I said I was more than willing to remake it, but to please be patient and give it about three days. Informed delivery and Etsy delivery, it's an estimate. It's not a for sure, for certain, definitive date of delivery. It's a three-day estimation, guesstimation, I guess is the best way to say. So if it's telling you it's delivered, give it a three-day window. And that's for anybody you buy from. Just because we don't know any more than you do and we see the same window in Etsy and eBay that you guys do. But I just wanted to give you the breakdown on how much work goes into these titles when we create bases. The people are much, much easier because you don't have all these extra working parts. And I just wanted to give you a glimpse into the frustration sometimes that the creators go through with this. The next video is going to be simplified. It's going to just be one little Franklin. He's super easy to create a base for. Marjorie Ann said there's no way she can go back through all 7,500 files of her. She would love to, to create bases for him, but she would never be able to create new pieces. So I'm going to show you how to create bases for kids in the next video. It was just getting this one up for you guys so you could see that when you have a lot of pieces for accessories and you want to create a base, really think it out, but play with it, get comfortable with it until you get advanced to start working on the harder ones like this. If you have any questions, let me know. And thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video shortly.